All right, good. Good evening, Richard. All right, so tonight, we are celebrating Syrian softball. I'll say it that way. Um, we're going to be giving out awards for the night league. We had a year this year that was unprecedented. Uh, unparalleled to any of the league that happened. Was bar none, better than ever. Uh, having every game recorded was something I don't think ever done. Between the YouTube um, live and the highlights and the GoPro, and it was really unbelievable. So it, was, it, was a it was a show in itself, and we were happy to be part of it. Uh, tonight, as we mentioned, we're celebrating softball. And um, we're going to get right to it. Going into tonight, we have a couple of people presenting, and um, we want to move it quickly. I have the second host ever on a Syrian softball show. Uh, coming up and honoring Bobby Morabia, somebody that we know, anybody who played in Jersey, in Neil, on a Sunday morning. Anybody who played on a Sunday morning game over the last 25 years, I can tell you as a commissioner of another league with Sammy, there's a lot to deal with, and Bobby deals with a lot. Um, as a, that's Bobby's right. The ASAP committee. Um, Two-time champion in the YMSL, and uh, one of the hosts of a show who rarely put up his mouth, and till this day, we had a show named after him. Uh, we would like to welcome Mr. Douglas Dweck, to give a speech honoring Mr. Bobby. Thank you, Sammy. Welcome everyone to Deal Shul. This is the most people we've had in Deal Shul all winter, I'm sure. <laughs> so uh, it's an honor and a privilege to uh, be the first one up, really, to give Bobby something that I think is a long time coming. Um, I know Bobby way back going to the Shul League, so about actually before that. So Bobby, as uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, was a pitcher at one time. So he was like, maybe I would say the, the slower version of Moses, probably. And uh, so he pitched maybe 30 years ago at least. And then um, he had the white cell going on and he said, you know, we're going to make a league for the Shules. We had West Deal, Park Avenue, I see Ralph Hannity was in the Shul League. And uh, so I was on the Deal Shul League. So, you know, if there were any issues with the fields, I had to really deal with it. I would call them up if I needed to. So uh, one day, the fields were really soaking wet, and we were getting on the field to play, and one of the, uh, I think it was a policeman or someone from the town, came over and stood on the field and said, you guys can't play here, the field's not ready. So uh, I, what am I gonna do? I called Bobby up. So uh, I said, maybe I can do something before I call Bobby up. So I offered the guy 20 bucks. I said, listen, <laughs> is it okay if we play? Uh, no one's gonna know. And he went crazy. What are you doing? What do you think I am? I said, I don't know what to do. Let me call Bobby. I called Bobby up. I said, Bobby, the guy that won't let us play. And I offered him uh, 20 bucks. Are you crazy? What do you mean you offered him 20 bucks? I said, oh my God, I'm getting in trouble. Because you offered him 20 bucks, you gotta give him at least 50. <laughs> That's what he told me that day. He goes, guys, I couldn't let you play just for that. So uh, that was that one league. And then, uh, of course, I joined the uh, YMSL. And then, uh, join the show. So a lot of good times you have in the show. I see a lot of people from the show. Dash List is here, his original, uh, what's called the Dumbass Report, and Savon is here, also uh, from the show. One day we had Sam Cow on the show. So we have these foam microphones that obviously are fake, and Sammy Cow came on the show as a guest, and he got all upset because he didn't have a foam microphone. It's like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know why he got so upset. So Norman said, don't worry, you'll share, you'll share mine. So he started to speak, and he goes, wait a second. So Norman went like this to him, and he gave him the mic, and, all, and then he was all happy and kept speaking. So uh, we had a lot of good times on the show. Then Bobby, of course, got married. You know, uh, his wife is here also. So welcome to, uh, to uh, tonight's occasion. So we did the show, it used to be from uh, the, the uh, Towel's house, right, it's Ricky Towel, Albert Towel, and then we moved it to uh, Bobby's house once he got married. So we, we ran a whole show one night, he had a little dog on his lap, the whole time he would let go of the dog. It was his wife's dog, 
petting it during the show. I didn't know really what was going on. So then as I was leaving, I said, Bobby, you know, I never knew you liked dogs, but I hate this thing. I don't like dogs. I have to watch them all the time. So I thought he really loved them, but really, you know, he was all upset about it. So a couple of months later, I'm riding my back bike down Ocean Avenue, and I see a baby carriage. Bobby's wheeling the carriage down Ocean Avenue. It's a lot, what a nice thing. And it's a really hot day. It's a really sunny day. So let me go say hello. I go up to Bobby to say hello to him, and I say, oh, let me see the baby. I pick the lid up, and the dog is sitting in the carriage, and he's walking the dog in the carriage. I said, what are you doing? That's not how you walk a dog. You put a leash, and you walk him. He says, no, it's too hot for him. I said, but this doesn't do anything. If you put him in the carriage, you walk him. And he can't even see because the hood is closed. So that's really, like, in a nutshell about Bobby. He's, uh, you know, you think he's tough on the outside, and the guys that are in the league think he's rough. And rob you this, rob you that, you know, that's all you want to hear. But really, in the inside, he's like a jelly donut. He's the nicest guy, the easygoing guy, he wants to help everyone. He, uh, he's up all night, you should know that if he sees the forecast, he's going to even be a little bit of a drizzle. He wants to make sure that the games go on. He's at the fields 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, trying to get everything done. So really, he does whatever he can for the league. And for 30 years, he's done everything he could for the league. And um, really, this is long deserving. So I'd like to uh, award the uh, MS Lifetime Achievement Award and thank you for honoring him from the other league. So now for one big family. But the MS Lifetime Achievement Award to uh, Bobby Moravia, for his for the Lifetime uh, Award. It was about 15 years ago. Um, they gave me a beautiful glass trophy and it was signed, uh, it was engraved from the Players Association. I was very touched. Then a week later, I got a bill from the trophy store. <laughs> <laughs> so I basically just made my own trophy. Uh, this is not right. out. <laughs> but, um, That's the way you <laughs> Yeah, Douglas, thanks for the kind words. Uh, it's very nice. Made up 80% of it. Like that. <laughs> um, I'll tell you the truth. It's uh, it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's been that long, 25 years. Um, you know, it's uh, how I did. I have no idea. Uh, you know, every February 1st it would be like, uh, how am I going to go through another year of doing this? Um, <laughs> Somehow, I guess I should have guides me through it and uh, puts, puts me in all the as that I had to deal with for all these years. And, um, but, uh, but there's something very special about being part of, uh, of a league, YMSL or MS or uh, the, you know, the Night League, the BKS, even whatever it is. It's just it's a certain camaraderie you have with, uh, with players and, uh, that you have for a lifetime. You know, when you win, there's nothing like it, especially in YMSL, it's got 43 years of history. Um, you know, it just, um, it just, it's amazing that uh, there's really nothing in the community that's lasted as long as this. And, you know, God willing, it'll be another 43 years now. You have great guys running the show now, Norman, and Max, and Lee, and uh, I think it's going to be a great thing for many years to come. Um, but, uh, Max, I want to say, uh, I see that Elliot Braha is here today. This brings back memories of your uh, rookie year, 2007. <laughs> and um, it was very funny. Max, we didn't know too much about you, you know. Just like, uh, we heard that you're good, you know, for the Shul League. But, you know, honestly, the Shul League didn't carry too much weight uh, with us. We had A.B. Saruya in center field, and Douglas in the shortstop, <laughs> and it wasn't exactly, it wasn't exactly a who's who. So, um, so he joined in 2007, Elliot was a captain that year, and he hadn't played in a few years, so he didn't really know all the players. So, um, so I said, don't worry about your captain, I'll help you pick the team. So they picked a great team, you had uh, Red, Jason Sultan, Jason Cohen, Mr. Carrier. So it's getting now late in the 
draft, and he says, you know, I don't know, I need a shortstop, who am I going to get? And honestly, we have this one guy, I don't know too much about him, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's a religious guy, but he's supposed to be very good. So he goes, all right, so let's call him, you know, so, so he gets on the phone, he starts talking to, uh, to Max, he goes, wait a minute, I think I know you. He goes, deal shul, high holidays, third row, shofar, a little chubby. Max goes, yeah, yeah, that's me. He goes, you can't play shortstop. <laughs> so, but Max, I gotta tell you, you played amazing that year. Probably one good. of the best teams that never won. Uh, no, I really was, I mean, uh, the God bless Red Hall of Famer, Habash Shalom, uh, was called for game five. <laughs> what well, Elliot's brilliant decisions. But, uh, but that was a great, great team. And, uh, you know, it was uh, just one of those memories. And Sammy came in about a year later, and uh, you had the misfortune of having the same name as uh, one of the same classic characters of Why Myself and Ted Lewis. And uh, a guy with. A reputation, uh, many reputations. <laughs> but one of them was he was probably one of the worst hitters in the history of the league. <laughs> but amazingly enough, you you were able to match his hitting uh, his hitting woes, and uh, you know with your 200 batting average. But uh, actually, one year you almost won the batting title. A couple of years later, you came in good. But uh, you know, you guys did an unbelievable job. Then you were the first guy on the Dash Report. The first. Uh, <laughs> Before it was that, we was, first it was the Dash report. We, me, you, and, uh, and Dash, and then when we gave Dash his walking papers, it was the Dash list report. <laughs> then it was the Douglas report, and then we gave Douglas his walking papers, the Douglas report, and uh, it's been like that ever since. But we had some great, great times, and uh, you know, I have to say, he came in like back to came in the mid 2000s. Was, to me, it was the heyday of uh, YMSL. Uh, we had the best, even though we only had six teams, we had guys like Ray Day and Dash and NRJ and uh, Labo, I mean, Elliot Braha, RB, we forget these guys, Saban, I mean, we had a million laughs, it was just a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of good times, and, uh, you know, it was just, um, it was just, that, that would also make the job very easy also, it was just, uh, it was just part of the fun of, uh, of being the wine itself. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a few people I want to thank, uh, you know, well, before I uh, close up shop over here. Um, first, I want to thank my wife, Jacqueline. She put up with a lot of stuff. Um, every affair, wedding, and gate party for all these years. All the, all the nonsense, the hecky ballad she had to deal with uh, before we walked in the door. And uh, you know, she put up with a lot, and uh, and I thank her for that, and all the late night phone calls, and uh, text, and you know, just uh, it was just one of those things that uh, you know she had to be part of the job, and also my kids, who I uh, I guess it's the reason I even breathe, and uh, I had to get to uh, I had to miss a lot of their games, and now I get to see them every week, so hopefully that'll uh, you know we'll see that. Um, a couple of guys in the league um, that uh, you know, have been very good, very good supportive to me, and uh, one of them is he's not here tonight. He should have been here. He should have come. Is Nathan Tal? Um, you know, I, I don't think you can really say enough things about him as a person. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever said a bad word about him, uh, and if there is, then obviously he has some issues, but. Um, He's, he's always there for me and always was pushing me and telling me how a great job I was, was doing and to not let anything bother me and uh, he meant he meant so much to me to this day. He's, I've been friends with him for like 30, over 30 years and um, and I'm lucky to have a friend like him. Um, and the final thing I want to say is um, I, can't, I can't really accept this award without three people who who made it all possible. And it's my nephew's um, Rafe. It's Albert and Ricky Tell, who, um, to me, deserve more than anything this uh, award because they, tra they what, what they did over all these years was, was 
make softball uh, besides a game and made it a, an event which every league in this community has benefited from. Whether it's social media or the videos or the commercials, anything, they were the first ones to start it and, um, and everybody picked up on it and, and um, I'll, I love them to death and I wish them all the luck and the truth is uh, the league to me was never the same after they left but I, I just couldn't I couldn't do more than that. And um, that's it. I want to wish Max and uh, Lee and uh, DSN and Norman um, all the best of luck. And I love all you guys. And Douglas, and thanks for having me. Can't uh, compete with that. Uh, we're jumping right into the World Series montage. As you guys know, we had the benefit of having everything on tape. Sammy put a little highlight reel of the entire World Series. It's a quick two minutes. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Two strikes. Two out. Two strikes, two out, runner on third, top of the first. Michael Meller, Salman, and he puts the ball in center field, and it's one nothing. get Swifty. That's a big two out hit for Meller. Nice catch on the warning track, and Z tags at first, and he's going from first to third. The throw is in time. Double play, what a throw. And we go to the second. Let's go! Yeah. Two, two, one out. Zach, ball to right. Zaka, what a catch! Two on, one out. Score tied at two. Sam Loudon, and the catch is made by Mocas, and it's a double play. And the runner was caught napping, and we're still tied at two as we head to the fifth. Runner on first, two out. Elliot Sack hits the ball the other way, and it paints the line. Cut off by Loudon, and Melech, they're sending him home. Play to the plate is, not in time. Melech under the tag, and the score is three to two. What a two out hit from Elliot Saka. That is clutch, and Get Swifty takes the lead. Ground ball, Jober, Fields, goes to second, barehanded by Mokas, and they get out of it. And we go to the seventh. Oh my goodness. That's a drive, left center field, Greenberg giving chase, what a catch! Joe Greenberg, the play of the World Series. Wow! Oh my goodness. Laid out over the shoulder and hangs on. That ball was ticketed for the fence. Probably a tie game. And Get Swifty is one out away of securing the 2018 World Series. Brown ball the other way. Juber Fields goes to first. In time! And Get Swifty is the 2018 MS World Series champion. Oh, wow! And they're mobbing Leo here it is, Ray is getting Swifty, and everyone's getting Swifty, and it's celebrations all around, oh, how sweet it is, yeah, and everyone's taking their turns, holding that beautiful cup, and there's Leo Casson getting Swifty. I guess I think Joe. Wrong way, wrong way. You just turned away. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I'd like anybody from Get Swifty, I'm not doing one at a time, come up on stage, yeah, get your trophies. Let's do some pic uh, quick picture of the team. Whoever's here, come on up and get Swifty team. 
Find your trophy. Come in, John. 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 We're not even runner up. Runner up to the runner up. Personal awards only. But what are they worth? And how do you feel? Most Rob player in softball history. <laughs> wow, let's see it, Leo. Wait, hello. Uh, Jojo. Nice piece. Jojo. What a piece. Jojo. Last year's champions. Did you really produce? 2018. Oh, yeah. Get swift in your By, uh, for the uh, for the for the for the what is it called the what team was it again? Holding up the Cy Young. No, but who was the get the uh, the crackhead guy? Uh, I gave to play Sunday morning. Oh my God! Come, Richie Bro. And the next one, number four, is Save On After Dark. Yeah! <laughs> you gotta get like a G to say it. Like, the like, like, show of the year. Drum roll! Uh, no. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Come on. No, don't do it. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Hold on, you can't see Please. this. Sick. Give, give somebody. Right Why is it off? You'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Saint Barney of the Dog.
Welcome. <laughs> Where's the robe? You know where that robe is. <laughs> I want to thank uh, the committee. I want to thank my wife for letting me uh, film. <laughs> I want to thank the boys of MS for coming up with the great idea to do the show. Um, I know there was only three episodes this year, but next year, I promise you, we have a roster, and it's going to be phenomenal. There's going to be a lot of shows. We're going to have some special guests. Uh, DSAS was supposed to be on the show. That would have been a phenomenal show, but he's going to open up next season. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to thank again the league, and congratulations to the other nominees and Bobby for his award and everybody else who gets an award and everyone who's here. So thank you and enjoy the evening. Uh, presenting the award for Bo Glove, third base. We did our best to get premier fielders to announce the award for each. And uh, I think we're off to a good start. So you're in there. Third base and gold glove nominees are Jordy Rommel, Richie Cohen, Ray Barry Esses, and Charles Sacker. Winner is Butchie Cullen. Who's going to accept the award on his behalf? Who's going to accept the award on his behalf? You're going to accept the award on Butchie's behalf? His brother Shimmy. So it took a lot for Shimmy to come out here today. Bobby Morabia. Unbelievable. What a leader, a commissioner, and a human being. Countless Sundays, putting up with all the bullshit, all the umpires, all the fights, the fist fights, the verbal fights. Amazing. Congratulations, Bobby, and I mean that from my heart. Also, uh, my brother Elliot, who pushed me to be, even though I was short and nobody saw me, but everybody heard me. <laughs> I want to thank my brothers for showing me the way to be athletes, competitors, fighters, battlers, whatever's happening. Uh, I remember playing against Elliot in the World Series. Maybe I was on CTU, he was on Smack Pack. Jason Cohen threw the ball over the backstop. And memories of this league, just countless memories. Waking up, sometimes not wanting to go to the field, but not playing softball on a Sunday was like not a religious person praying in the morning. It was just unbelievable. All, all the friendship, the camaraderies, all the, the memories I have of playing the softball league was just countless memories and just an unbelievable feeling to be part of. So without further ado, I'm going to announce the Gold Glove for Second Base 2018, and the nominees are Eli Segal, Ellie Siegel, Juan Mike, Jackie Haber, Juber, Ralph Matu, and David Simmons Simhon. That's D. And I gotta open the envelope. <laughs> and the winner is, how do you pronounce his name? Siegel. <laughs> Siegel. Ellie. Eli. Ellie. Good job. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Umpire of the Year award. Wow. I wish I was prepared. You are. So many things. Okay. Hopefully this gives me points. The nominees are Mike Musumato. I want to say I did not make this decision. <laughs> and the winner is all three. All three. No. Uh, Jim Gomez. Jim is a rookie umpire this year, and this is the winner of the the semifinals and the finals. Welcome to the crew. Happy to have you. Gold Glove shortstop Stephen Gilman, Gabe Abadi, John Eliezer, Jojo. Beasts Royal, Zach Eskenazi, Joe Eskenazi, Ace Royal. The whole week, who should leave off? Max is on that one. Max, Max, Ace Sprinkle, please. Winner is Zach Eskenazi. Max not here, we were talking more. Oh, damn. We're going straight to the next Tijuana World Series Award. Uh, straight to the next award. Announcing Cy Young. The Cy Young Award. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Rob Solomon. Who better than to announce the Cy Young Award winner? Rob Solomon, I dare say, in our league, was the most unhittable pitcher in one single season. Uh, going on to win with King Solomon. Unbelievable season that was to be the team that had a Marla Shaka in company. Uh, unbelievable. Rob, thank you for coming. Thank you. And the nominees for Cy Young Award are Abe Soka, Saka, sorry, Mikey Shalom, and Max Yadid. Yeah! All pitches I pitched against, I believe. That's right. I mean, I and you beat them. <laughs> of course I beat everyone. Max. And the winner is? Max. Max. Rob Solomon. No, I mean, <laughs> Max Yadid. <laughs> Really amazing. You guys uh, started me off in my softball career. First opportunity I got to pitch was because of Max and Sam. They uh, threw me into the fire at a young age, and I, uh, you know, learned slowly. Finally, uh, got some stuff, mastered the skill, and uh, now I'm holding this award. So thank you, everybody. Jojo Saruya has to hit over 13 home runs, and there is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. JoJo smells those playoff tickets. Number five. Number six. That may get out. I don't know if that went out. Eight. Hey. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
12! JoJo is so close. Time is running down. 13, is that it? And JoJo Cerulea, in dramatic fashion, had to beat 13, and he did it. 14, as time is expiring, and we have a reigning back-to-back -back home run champ, JoJo Cerulea. What are you selecting for first place? Yankee tickets, beautiful. Still in the sport, going to the playoff game, he's taking me. Second place. Jojo Soria, come on up. You got a home run baby. Right? Yeah. 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 Hey Jojo. I'm the biggest beast I've ever seen on the floor. Congratulations. Yeah. You see the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Scouting and uh, finding some really top talent rookies. This year, like no other, a lot of great rookies. Check it out. The nominees for Rookie of the Year Eddie Harari, Ellie Siegel, Marty Antony, and Sal Dweck. And the winner is. For the second time tonight, Ellie Siegel. right field on the MNS holes. Mr. Carlos Abadi, yeah. the Tigers. And the fourth nominee was Billy Miz on Save On After Dark. The winner is... Billy! I wrote it, and I remember what it said. Go through this. Go through this. Yeah, save on after dark. He had a show. Mr. Sam Loudon. Should I say the other Sam Loudon. Sam, take a picture with Matt. First base gold glove. First base gold glove. Nominee Michael Savon Solomon. Nominee number one. This is the 12th round pick, Hank Dweck. Number two. World Series winner, Ike Mavora. Number three. Edmund. Better known as Swath Dweck on the, top, on the Tigers. Number four. The winner is for Gold Glove First Base. Hank Dweck. Hank Dweck. Hank Dweck. To present the next award. To present the next award is not myself. Gold Glove Center Field is going to be presented by one of the best center fielders that I've played in our community, Mr. Elliot Crawford. My best Sundays when I was growing up, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, the league wasn't as deep as it was now in all these leagues. We only had like three, four, five decent players. But uh, when Bobby took over the league, he put like a lot of juice into it. And he took a lot of BS from a lot of players. But I just want to say uh, I appreciate your time that you gave to the league and uh, the community needs you guys to continue the league for the uh, Jersey Shore. More people moving out from Brooklyn to Jersey will appreciate it. Like my son, with Dave Farka, people like that can come out. But uh, here we go. Center field. Uh, center field, go love 2011. We got Shimmy K. 
coming. Shitty Shady. We have Ali Marshall, still there. Ali's still very good. We have Jose, oh, Joseph Greenberg. Clay Tennis. Oh, is that? Jose Michael Cohen, MC. And Jackie Tao. That's story. That's that. Michael Cohen? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Bobby Safdie was in attendance. Mr. Nathan Safdie is going to make it tonight. Elliot Ferrari from the Tigers. Yossi Abramson, World Series winner, sends his love from Florida. And Jamie Dweck, uh, left fielder on the Shim Shady squad. Winner is... Taking home the award for Nathan Safdie is the winner. Bobby, you're going to go. Second score is tied at two. Michael Melech Solomon leads off with a high fly ball. They were playing him shallow. And Bobby oh, and makes one of the most amazing catches oh, you'll ever God. see. He hangs on. One out, nobody on. The undrafted Sam Loudon. Looking for one more big hit. Leo gets that important strike one. Upstairs. That's a drive. Left center field. Greenberg giving chase. What a catch! Go Greenberg! The play of the World Series! Wow! Oh my goodness! Laid out over the shoulder and hangs on. That ball was ticketed for the fence. Probably a tie game. And yet Swifty is one out away of securing the 2018 World Series. One out. Zach, ball to right. Saka, what a catch! In the final call, Elliot Saka makes a spectacular grab. And the run tags up, and the score is tied at two. Two out score tied at two in the bottom of the second. Jimmy Malach ropes a ball, right center field. Greenberg, what a play! Joe Greenberg lays out and saves two, maybe three. And the score is tied at two after the spectacular web gem by Joe Greenberg in right center field as we head to the third. There's strike one, and the Tigers bench is coming alive. Swings, fly ball! Oh, what a catch by Michael Cohen! And he goes to first, not in time. Michael Cohen saves the day. That gets by him, and they probably tie it up. That triggered the um, the great run by the uh, MNS Holt. John's not here, and Sammy wasn't there that night. So that's why we didn't have it on video. But otherwise, the plays you all saw. Joe Greenberg's World Series catch. The diving play in the playing game by Joe. Bobby Safdie's backward jumping diving catch. Michael Cohen's game saving catch in the seventh inning. And Elliot Sackett's diving catch on the right field line. No, I thought they'd make the cut on that. The winner is for the defensive play of the year, for the situation it was done in and the play that it was made, Mr. Joseph Bremer. Which play? First or second? World Series. World Series. <laughs> uh, one of the most so many plays he made at the plate in all leagues. Why am I so every night? And we see it time and time again. The uh, the nominee is Elliot Antony, who's not here. His brother just got engaged. Babu Tabuki. That's why he couldn't make it. Mr. Java. I forgot his name. Jack Bader. Jack Bader. Thank you. Uh, Miller. That's his name. And uh, Shmuey Lewis in the news. Uh, winner is Gold Glove Catcher. Miller! 
just going to chill it. You don't have to open it up. We all know. Mr. Mike Miller Solomon. Saruya golfs at it. What a play by Stephen Gindy, taking away a run from Get Swifty off the bat of JoJo Sarruya. Third, now two out. Elliot Saka amongst the league leaders in RBIs. Ground ball. Stephen Gindy charges, fields, fires. Got him! After surrendering a leadoff triple, the foam rollers get out of it as we go to the bottom of the first. No score. To the bottom of the third. Line drive up the middle. Mocas Fields goes second for one. On to first. Not in time. Play to the plate. Out at the plate, and Melech does it again. Still in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch swinging. Brown ball. What a play. Force out at second. Run does score, but that is a sensational defensive play. That's it, that's By Joe Greenberg. Dead, dead. Wow. Two outscore tied at two in the bottom of the second. Jimmy Malach ropes a ball right center field. Greenberg, what a play! Joe Greenberg lays out and saves two, maybe three. And the score is tied at two after the spectacular web gem by Joe Greenberg in right center field as we head to the third. Two on, two out. Two in, scores 5-4 in the bottom of the fourth. It's a rope. Elliot Saka makes a diving, tumbling grab. That ball gets by him and the Tigers take the lead. We go to the top of the fifth, it's 5-4. Shooters in the corners, one out, one in. Score is 3-1, Tigers looking for more. Gabe Abadi, it's a rocket right at Butchie. Goes to first, and he got him! What a throw by Butchie Cohen! And the rally is snuffed short. Game remains three to one, two innings. And Shady gets out of it with great defensive score. Throw. Tied at two. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Ellie Siegel, it's a bullet. Right at Mocas, touch a second, on to first. Double play! Morris Casson. Ground ball, Butchie. Goes the easy way, goes to first, and it's. Scrolling on the floor, you'll see Abramson's gonna try and score! The play to the plate is in time! What a throw and tag! And they cut off the potential third run. And we go to the bottom of the second. Dweck with nobody on, one out. Weak ground ball. Ray, tough hop on the carom. Jojo fires and gets him. What a play, Jojo Saruya making every play tonight. Sam Loudon went from undrafted to being a World Series right fielder. Mr. David Pereira coming off of surgery. And the winner is Mr. Hank Dweck. Win the batting title. Yeah. So that's two trophies in one. Where's the other one? Where's the third one? You have to speak now. After being selected in the 12th round, one time a fourth round pick. Rips a shot to left. Hank DeWeck proving the naysayers wrong. Wow, he smoked that one. Stepping to the play at first and second for the hot hitting Hank DeWeck. Upstairs, 1-0. Way to get a lead, Pat. Way to get a lead. It's another line drive base hit for Hank. Everything's hit on the screws. Two, nothing, Shim Shady. I guess he didn't win everything because Hank was winning. Gold Glove Shorts in the field. Mr. Marcus Ashby. The first nominee. Uh, Morris Cassin, second nominee. Mr. Jimmy Malach, power hitting, third nominee. And 
Isaac Dweck is the fourth nominee. Winner is, I don't have to open the envelope, so I'm right in. The winner is, he should be here any minute, Mr. Isaac Norwood Dweck. Starting pitching gold glove. Nominees, Mr. A.B. Saka. Thank you, A.B., for coming. Mr. Mikey Shallow. Eddie Harari. And Mr. Michael Ancona. And the winner is Gold Glove pitcher, a young upstarting pitcher who's only going to get better and better, Mr. Eddie Herrera. Quiet Silence Writer. Step on! And uh, yes, better known as that boy, Mr. Mr. Charlie Shemtov, uh, with a lot of math and analytical uh, paperwork, way above my head, has a lot of uh, different. He came up with an award, which I would say we have MVPs and we have Player of the Year, like in Sports Illustrated has it. Mr. Charlie Shemtov has the Golden Calculator Award to announce. Don't show the winner. This guy, right? What's the calculation? Don't show the winner. Um, when I went to Sammy and I told him I wanted to do this thing, first of all, I was left drunk. And that is the truth. <laughs> Secondly, I had no idea I would be giving out an award, a crappy plastic award. But here I am. Um, this award it goes to the position player who in my opinion, and Matt's opinion, um, contributed the most to his team this season. Um, in a high scoring league such as this one, getting on base is most important. So the finalists are all high on base guys, and almost all of them also played premium positions. Um, the finalists are Michael Cohen, wherever he went, uh, Joe Greenberg, uh, Jimmy Mala, Ali Marshall, and Joseph Arati. And the winner is Ali Marshall. Not the word. <laughs> I am a Still can beat most of all of you in a race. Have another bridge. Maybe 80 feet, not 150. Where's that top? We'll take him to an 80 feet. But uh, I guess it's a great award. <laughs> great award. We gotta start over. Stat boy. Stat boy. Stat boy. <laughs> we announced at the night of the World Series, going 6 to 10 with a truckload of doubles and crazy defensive plays, and well deserved. Take a picture with your MVP World Series in Okay. Here to come up now, I have two people coming up. Uh, we're all fun and games, having a good time. The league, this was the 11th season. It's hard to believe. You know, the YMSL, as Bobby mentioned, is going for 43 years. This league now we're on, we finished 11 seasons, time flies, it's a lot of fun. And um, we decided to start the Hall of Fame. There's people that have been in the league for all 11 years, and I have to, so before I announce anybody to come up and talk, uh, this was, I was asked to clearly say, just because they're receiving Hall of Fame uh, induction does not mean they're retiring. They still have many years to play, God willing. 
uh, to come up, I have two gentlemen coming up. Mr. David Asher, better known as Dash, and Mr. Jimmy Malach, one of the perennial, maybe the best hitter in the league for the last couple of years himself, to come up and conduct the first two Hall of Fame inductees. <laughs> I had to get him on the oh, video. Oh. Uh, well, good timing. Uh, uh, this is perfect. Uh, the Hall of Fame, and uh, it's the first year that they're doing it. No better guys that I would prefer, in my opinion, than my two buddies there. One of them is stuck. Just uh, different <laughs> names. Uh, but definitely, uh, first, I want to say a couple things about Mike. Mike, when I first met him, uh, funniest guy I've met. Funniest guy I've met. I uh, changed the game of softball for me. I uh, loved it. Puts a lot of pressure on you when uh, to perform. You got to bring it every week, and if you don't, he lets you hear it. Uh, but uh, definitely off the field, you guys got to know this guy. Best guy I've met. Uh, Ali, um, he's a true professional when it comes to the game. Best player I've played with. Uh, best player I've played against. Uh, I love playing with those two. And uh, there's no more deserving players. And the, especially the first Hall of Fame, then uh, my two buddies, Ali and Mike. Sit down. Sit down. Make sure you read the plaque. Oh, after, after, after. Oh, we'll read the plaque. Okay. Almost ready to get up, aren't you? <laughs> Michael Saban Solomon is the first <laughs> Hall of Fame class for his stellar career. That's not over. <laughs> to date, Saban is a four-time MS Cup winner and three-time Gold Club winner, but not this year. <laughs> One regular season MVP. One world, one world Series MVP. <laughs> to his credit, Saban is currently is the MS second leader in hits, first in RBIs, <laughs> and second all time in doubles with a lifetime with a lifetime average. We should round it up to 500. Forget the 496. <laughs> Come on up. We were going to auction, auction this off, but whoever gets it. Hot <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah! Yeah! laughs> dog in hand. I gotta, I gotta say, this is, uh, this is really special. It's a phenomenal night. I'm very proud. Um, I've been playing in this league for 10 years, playing. I have a, a long career behind me, a long career hopefully ahead of me. And um, you know how I come to the games. I'm ready every week, every time I play. I'm trying to win, trying to win those championships, trying to make I mean, you, some of you think I'm nuts, but I'm trying to make the team better. It's really all for the best. Come on. Yeah, it is. Some guys can't take it. Bobby almost collapsed. Some guys could take it. Like Jimmy and Allie. I mean, that's why. Uh, you miss them. I do. I, uh, they get it. But uh, uh, I want to thank my wife for allowing me to always play in this I want to thank all the players before me that I watched and said, wow, these guys are winning and hitting and fielding and making plays. It was great watching them and I learned a lot from them and now I'm learning a lot more from the younger guys. Uh, it's great playing with you. I hope I can do this for 
you know, a lot of years to come. And um, I'm very also happy, I want to say, you know, to my boy Ali, who I played with a lot. Uh, we always try to get together. I mean, why wouldn't I want to pick this guy every time? We've won a lot of championships together and tournaments and stuff, and I'm very proud to go into the first class hall with him. Um, and also, my man Jimmy, thank you for those kind words. Asher, thank you for stuttering through my flag. <laughs> and I want to thank Max and Sam for this. This is very, very special. Hopefully, I'll have this speech in the YMSL, Bobby's old stomping grounds one of these days. And um, without further ado, I think uh, we'll announce Ali. And thank you very much. Ali, right. right. come up. As, that, Stay, sit down. Relax <laughs> a second. Uh, Ali Marshall, the second Hall of Fame. Here to my gentlemen tonight. <laughs> Today, Ali, the two-time MS Cup winner, three-time Gold Glove winner, three regular season MVPs. Ali is currently the MS all-time leader in hits, walks, doubles, <laughs> triples, fourth in RBIs. In addition, Ali has bat has two batting titles with a lifetime average of 543. Come on up. Should have gone first, huh? Alex, speech! Yeah. Wait, Alex, uh, picture first. Picture, picture. 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 Not uh, prepared for this, but uh, to, be, to, be, uh, to, be, to be put in with this guy is an honor. Uh, <laughs> to tell you the truth, uh, I guess this means I'm old. Getting a Hall of Fame, but I definitely have uh, a lot of MVP caliber years ahead of me. Seeing all you young guys keeps me going. Uh, the young talent's amazing, and it keeps me going at my age now, and uh, keeps me to get in shape and keep in shape and train uh, to keep up with you guys. But uh, it's a big honor, and uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, basically, I'm very honored, and uh, there's a lot of other people coming. say great year. Um, it was really something special, MS Holes, and I regret having had to go to Israel. And I think that had I been here, I probably would have, um, you know, we probably would have beat Swifty. And I continue to say that, and it's something that I will hold forever dear to my heart. Um, why do I deserve uh, MVP? Uh, I would say that without me, we didn't get one more win. Um, eight wins and it was definitely a team effort and I hate making videos like this describing why I deserve MVP but um, I'm probably not going to get it but in all uh, honesty um, it was a pleasure to play and uh, there's nothing like a good shortstop and someone who can control the infield and get hot and do it on both sides and I think that you know shortstop center fielders and pitchers are really always in line to get the MVP awards um, but uh, whoever gets it it's well deserved and um, you know, thanks for even nominating me. It's an honor in itself. This is Ali Marshall, and I'm really honored to be nominated for MVP in this great MS season. Um, Sam and Max did a great job getting really great talent, amazing talent throughout the whole league. It was a great season. Um, although I feel that there are other deserving MVPs. 
uh, I feel I should win MVP because if you look at the stats, I basically led every category, every offensive category. I was uh, top two or three in every category. Um, and I also played a really all around solid center field. Um, and I feel I made my corner outfielders uh, play even better. We gelled really well together and had a very solid all around outfield um, to add on. Uh, I would say the only negative is that my team unfortunately didn't do very well. Uh, we, we, we did okay uh, here and there, but uh, at the end we didn't do so well. So. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, shout that out. And Hi, my thank name you. is Michael Cohen. I'm honored to be considered for MVP this year out of five candidates. The reason why I feel like I should be the, the, the leading candidate and the winner ultimately is the fact that I brought every night that I played in the MNS League, I brought the consistency and the effort, whether it was on defense, offense, speed, throwing, etc. Um, I think there's a lot of great candidates. One of them is my teammate, Maxi Deed. But uh, let's see what happens. Hey, I'm Hank Dweck. It's an honor and a privilege for me to be nominated as one of the MVP finalists for this year's MNS season. I'm going up against a bunch of great players, including Michael Cohen, Maxi Deed, Ali Marshall, and John Oliezi. But I believe that I should be a lock to win this year's MVP. I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Our team started off the season in the first eight games. Um, we pretty much won every single game and we pretty much locked up a playoff spot just from those games alone. Through those eight games, I was batting 679, leading the league by a couple hundred points. And I was leading the league in every other category as well for those eight games. We ultimately made it to the World Series. Um, obviously we lost, but I take a lot of credit for partially carrying our team to that stage. In addition, I ended up winning the batting title from Ali Marshall at the end of the year, batting 537 I believe. And uh, after all, it's all about getting those hits, getting on base. And uh, I believe that should lock me up as an MVP, as an MVP winner. In addition, um, I believe that I played a gold glove first base in my first year. I know that the other guys played prime position, center field, shortstop, but I still held my zone out there at first. I think I should... Hi, this is uh, Max Yadid nominated for the uh, 2018 MVP award for uh, MNS. Huge honor. Always loved the MNS league. They gave me my first opportunity to pitch and uh, they've always supported me. Uh, I think I should uh, win this award. Um, the MNS Holes were a great team. Uh, we had an epic run of eight wins in a row to give us the number one seed, uh, to give us that bye in the playoffs and well, we had a lot of uh, a lot of great efforts on the team and a lot of amazing uh, performances. John Eliezer, Michael Cohen, some huge talent. Uh, me being on the mound every game, uh, leading the team, both uh, emotionally and uh, physically, I think came a long way to uh, putting us where we uh, ended the season as the number one seed. Uh, looking forward to uh, the award show. Thank you, Max and Sam. You guys are great. Alright, I forgot the number one. Here we go. The MVP. Year after year, sometimes it works out. Sammy and I just look at numbers. We see every game and we decide. This year, it was really, really up in the air, so we chose to go with a vote. Between 25, 30, 35 people. I brought the umpires in on it, uh, everybody in our chat in on it. I called randoms that come to games. The nominees are, and every single one of them are well-deserving. 
Uh, Max UD yeah. was the first nominee as a pitcher. But he didn't make that big of a difference for his team on the mound. The, the run he went through after winning in the YMSL and then carrying it through being the number one seed still beyond us why they picked Swifty, otherwise maybe things could have happened differently. Max UD was... Poker! Uh, that's right. Uh, Max UD, first nominee. Second nominee took his game up another level defensively. Uh, Mr. John Eliezer played a phenomenal shortstop and hit really, really well. Third nominee already has comeback player of the year this year. Uh, batting champ, played tremendously at first base. Um, again, carried his team for a lot of the season offensively, Mr. Hank Dweck. The fourth nominee, the Golden Calculator Award winner, Mr. Ali Marshall. And the fifth nominee, Gold Bluff center fielder, again, part of the m and Hall squad. Three teammates, all on the same team, um, were nominated for this award. This, again, I, I want to really impress on it, this was a pure vote. We went with the first, second, and third place vote. And the winner was, after the full out vote 2018 MS regular season MVP, Mr. Hank Dweck. It's fine. It's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's over. Turn around, turn around. Well, I was going to uh, Max and Sammy, I have to say, you guys make my summer every single year. <laughs> Thank you. Look here, look here. Look here. Wow. Year. Look here. What round are you drafting? 12. And, uh, Crazy, huh? Where's the draft? I have to say that every year I look forward to this league. Uh, every year I look forward to this league and it really keeps me going. And uh, that's all I have to say. I have to say thank you to them. Because, uh, and also, uh, very excited for the spring league. And Sam is going to be running. <laughs> Get involved, everybody. It's going to be good. And that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for a beautiful evening. Remember, suggested donation tonight is $52. We also have a split the pot we're going to be doing. Please thank you right now if you're interested. And we have actually. You One last thing I did not announce, and it goes under Tony, and he helps me tremendously, my brother and I, tremendously year after year. And I meant to open up the show with this, because there's something that we challenge is Mother Nature. And having the fields ready is one thing to enjoy. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. A.B. Dweck. It sounds funny, but he helps me with the weather every single day, whether he has meetings in Macy's or not, I drive him up the wall. Thank you, Mr. A.B. Dweck, helping me with the weather every single day of the summer. I don't take it for granted, and I highly appreciate it.